Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I want to talk, show you Jira and ServiceNow integrated and talking together. And I'm going to tell you what I tell all of my customers. If you're going to go down this road of integrating Jira and ServiceNow, and I think you should, is to use the out of the box ServiceNow supported Atlassian Jira integration for Jira Agile development. And that's even if you're going to do other stuff besides Agile development. Just hear me now. Don't reinvent this integration. Use what ServiceNow provides and keeps updated. Um, if I scroll down here, you can see what all is involved with this bi-directional integration between Jira and Agile Development 2.0, supporting attachments, custom issue types, custom fields, and custom workflows. That is a lot of work that you don't have to worry about. And let me show you exactly what I mean. On the left-hand side, I've got the ServiceNow backlog on the Agile board for my Jira team. My Jira team is an Agile group in ServiceNow, which corresponds to this project over in Jira on the right-hand side that's just above my head. So that is the integration level Jira project instance to a ServiceNow Agile group. And once configured, there's some light configuration. This is what it's going to look like. And you're going to be able to do what I show you in this and subsequent demos. So on the ServiceNow side, we're going to get started easy and we're just going to create a story. We'll call this one demo for YouTube. And I'm going to put in here from ServiceNow so we can distinguish between something that might get created on the Jira side here in a few minutes. Now notice it's automatically created that assignment group for the Jira team because I'm on the Jira, ba Jira team backlog in the service now on the agile board I'm gonna click submit there and it's automatically created my story and if we look just above my head all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to toggle my filters up here so that I can refresh the page that's all I'm doing there's no other magic other than just clearing that or pressing that filter and there it is there's my demo for YouTube from service now came right over now if I were to do something on the Jira side maybe I want to put in um, a description on here. Maybe we'll say, instead of the description I put over there, we're just gonna say, hello from Jira. So hello from Jira. And my head's kind of in the way of that. Hello from Jira, and I'm just gonna hit save. And now that should come over to ServiceNow automatically without me having to do anything. And here's the use case. Your developers work over in service or in Jira, right? That's where they're doing their work. That's why you might do this integration in the first place. But if someone needs visibility, maybe a help desk, maybe a project manager on the ServiceNow side, check it out. Now they can see that the developer updated this description on the Jira side automatically. So it sent those updates back and forth without anybody having to do anything other than configure the integration. Now let's take this a step further. Let's create the story. Maybe it didn't come through the service desk, the developer got it automatically, and they said this is going to be a demo for YouTube. But instead of from service now, it's going to be from Jira. Hit enter. And now that story should automatically get populated and brought over to ServiceNow. I'm gonna do the same thing as before. I'm just gonna to toggle my filters and we should see there's my demo for YouTube from Jira. No special stuff there. Now, what I might wanna do on the um, ServiceNow side is go in and maybe look at the details and stuff like that. But for this demo, I'm gonna pretend that all of the work's really being done in Jira, which is for most of our customers, that's usually what's happening, is they're doing their grooming and their backlog planning over here. So let's open up that first one and let's do what any good developer would do and let's give that some story points. We'll give it 25 story points and I think that's ready for me to move into a sprint. We'll go ahead and take care of the other one. Um, we'll do 10 story points on that one and go ahead and populate that. And now I'm gonna actually move that into a sprint. So let's just move that in here. Uh, this isn't gonna be the sprint I use, but I wanna show you this actually working. I have put them in CD6 sprint number four, and if I hop back over to service now, we should see that these have disappeared from my backlog because now they're part of the sprint. So now if I go to my sprint planning on my Agile board, we can see there they are in CD6 sprint number four, automatically got populated. Now let's open them up. Did those story points come through? Of course they did. There's my 25 story points on that particular story that came through from uh, Jira. And let's open the second one just to be thorough. Make sure my 10 story points came through. There they are. There's my 10 story points. Now here's where it gets really cool. I'm going to close this out and we're going to go back over into Jira and actually look at this. So now notice I can't start this sprint. CD6 sprint number four is actually in March of 2023. I'm recording this way before March of 2023. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these into the most current sprint. This is CD6 sprint number two. 
Um, I'm gonna do that there and then make sure that I see those in my sprint there. And let's just do some magic above my head here. Let, uh, let's just hit refresh. We'll refresh and see that my sprint number two in ServiceNow also now has those stories that are populated for demo for YouTube from Jira and demo for YouTube from ServiceNow. So I'll let that screen refresh and there it is, there's CD6 sprint number two. It's loading and we should see, actually I see my story points is actually already updated. The stories are loading there in the background. They'll pop up there in a second, but essentially I'm in sync across both Jira and ServiceNow. And what I wanna do on the Jira side, there it is, I didn't lie to you, it came through, all my stories came through on that sprint. What I wanna do on the Jira side is actually start this particular sprint. Um, and by starting the sprint, I get to see the dates there. We'll go ahead and hit start, and that'll bring me to my board where I can start moving and working through this particular sprint. So let's hop over to service now, and let's go to my sprint tracking. It doesn't have a current sprint. Um, I'm not sure why there. Let me hit start sprint over here. There's a, I, I'm doing some testing and I was creating some sprints and deleting things. So there's some wonkiness. You wouldn't do that in yours. Um, but now here's my sprint. I've got it matched on both sides. So let's say my demo for YouTube from Jira, this particular story right here, I'm gonna move this to in progress. And because ServiceNow has already done some state mapping for us, that's automatically gonna update on the ServiceNow side as well. So I'm gonna move this to in progress and we should see above my head that card automatically get updated and moved without me having to do anything. My hands are off the keyboard. Same thing for this demo for YouTube from ServiceNow. If I move this over to in progress the right way, that's gonna automatically hands off keyboard, update the ServiceNow side above my head and move that to work in progress. Same thing on the ServiceNow side though. What if my project manager came in and said, hey, um, I don't think that's ready to go. I'm gonna move that back over to draft. We should see over here that card automatically get updated to move back to the to-do or the draft state um, or the ready state. I can't remember which one I have it mapped to. That's not very likely to happen, so I'm going to keep that as work in progress. Oh, and you know what? On ServiceNow, my work in progress actually requires some acceptance criteria, so we'll just say it better work. Um, I don't have that particular field synced over, um, so that isn't going to matter much, but let's go ahead and now close that. There we go. So last thing to follow this through is I'm going to move um, my stories over here to done. I'm going to change this to done and change this to done and all of those should update on the service now side now they're gone uh am i showing my done one i don't think i'm showing done on this particular board but you can see they disappeared above my head and we're not seeing it anymore and now i can go ahead and complete the sprint on the jira side the two issues were done anything that's incomplete would move to the backlog of course and i'm not going to do anything like that there's my reporting on the jira side and i should be able to see in my sprint planning here that now my sprint is completely gone sprint number two and now it's moved on to sprint number three where we had that test story so that is the integration between jira and service now and i didn't have to do very much work at all like i said at the top of the video there's some light configuration around setting up your credentials on the from the jira side into service now importing things and then checking a box to say keep these two in sync now for the Jira team and ServiceNow, which synchronizes that project. Now, I want you to stay tuned for future videos because I, like I said, when I showed the app, there is the ability to do some custom fields and I want to even get more in depth on how to connect other things in ServiceNow to Jira, even though we're integrating with the Agile side of this. In the meantime, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in integrating both Jira and ServiceNow so their developers can work in Jira and their project and ITSM teams can work in ServiceNow. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.